This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. Hello everyone. So we are in my room today. It's been a minute since I feel like I filmed in my room. So I wanted to come and sit here because a lot of things have changed. I want to do like a mini room update because I've been working on updating my room. I've been doing a lot of like home decor lately. So I've actually also been working on some stuff downstairs I want to show you guys. But as of right now, as you can see, things have changed. I have new little things on my shelf here. I have a sentimental circus, a new little curatory plush. And then also I have a gloomy bear up there. Speaking of gloomy bear, kind of been my current little obsession. I have a gloomy bear. I have this really big one and I love him. And I just want to show him off because gloomy bear is kind of like hard to find sometimes. So I got this a little bit ago. He's been my pride and joy. And recently I went to MomoCon, which is like a anime convention and that was super fun. And I got two new gloomy bears. So I got the one up there. And then I also got this purple one, which is so cute. It's like a little vampire one and I love him. I love the colors and I really love gloomy bear's claws. I've just been obsessed with gloomy bear so this obsession has led me to create more purple things recently which has been interesting i kind of went all out i got these two gloomy bears and then i also got this a funko pop gloomy bear is this not so cute i'm not a big funko pop fan but my boyfriend is like obsessed with funko pops so i get a lot of them through him and this one uh is a really really cute one as you can see it sits on my bedside table along with some of my other items like i got a little bird vase from japan as well and i put a little flower in there so they all sit there and it's just so so cute i also did some redecorating on my upper what is that called like my dresser i guess i'll show you guys that in a minute and then eventually i'm sure we will make our way downstairs and you guys will see my new downstairs layout but i've been in a big redecorating phase lately i've noticed that like i feel like every few months i just get sick and tired of looking at the same thing so i have to redecorate i did it again recently i think it's really cute and i also because i got a bunch of stuff from japan which the vlog is still coming i have like three or four japan vlogs lined up it's just gonna take me a minute to edit all of them but they will be here i got so much new stuff from there that i've also just been redecorating with all that stuff so yeah but we also have gloomy bear here super super cute and those have been my new little finds recently um is my little gloomy guy that one is literally my favorite i think him with the combo of the curatory back here look so so cute i didn't know what to put on these shelves for like the longest time but i feel like these three big plushies are like perfect so i've been very happy about that also these are just two little extra guys that i also got from japan but this one is so cute this is like a little mountain cookie uh i got a little keychain of i love how japan likes to sell little keychain versions of their food because it makes me sad eating such aesthetic food and like i don't know not having a memory of it so this is super cute and then this guy originally was holding a little name tag but i cut it off because i didn't want to put my name on there so this is my sweet piano hopefully the lighting is good in this room today i can't tell i need to invest in some softbox lights not been getting those but i wanted to come and update you guys on my life what we're actually here today for is my stickers so i wanted to do a sticker launch today right before i filmed this video i realized that i should actually wait for my other ones to come in but i don't want to um i've been really bad with doing launches like all together but this time around i decided that i'm just gonna put stuff up as i get them because i've been really excited to get this stuff in the mail and i would like to get some orders as well so these are my two purple stickers that i ordered i did a couple other designs of pink stickers as well that are still on my ipad but i'm waiting for those to come in basically i placed two orders i placed one very big order with all of those stickers that i just showed you and then i placed a second order of just these two purple ones because i realized i forgot to to <laughs> submit these for my designs. But I got these in the mail, which is inspired by my purple gloomy bear, by the way, because purple is just my thing currently. These purple UFOs, and then also these purple, uh, I guess these are also UFOs, but this one is beaming up some little aliens, and this one is a little alien in a spaceship. And the aliens look basically just like frogs, which is a funny backstory because I know I'm gonna upset a lot of cottagecore girlies by saying this. I really hate frogs. I think they're gross, and I think they're slimy me and I don't like them and I think it's because I have this like not actually traumatic but traumatic childhood story when I was younger I wanted to go outside and play with my friends so I opened my front door and there was just this toad which I know is not a frog but it's like the same thing to me literally this big the was huge okay and he was sitting there and I opened my door and I was just like I, I can't leave my house and so that has traumatized me also unrelated story but when I was younger a grasshopper jumped and stuck to my bare leg when I was a child and so now I have this fear of like things jumping jumping up and sticking to my leg in the summer. And I know, I know a frog would do that, you know? So I got this whole thing about frogs. I know people have been wanting frog stuff. I feel like people always want frog stuff because it's one of the cute, like trendy animals right now. And so I decided to make them the aliens. Are these aliens or are these frogs? 
box. You guys can decide in the comments down below, but I, in my opinion, these are aliens to me and not frogs, but they're really nice and holographic as you can see. And I also decided to make a print out of them. And so they look like this. I have a huge stack of them. I think these are super pretty and I really like how they came out with all of the colors. I really push myself to like use more colors in this one. Cause I think my safe option is always just doing things with pink and it makes me just feel like my brand is cohesive that way, but I don't want to restrict myself too much, you know? So obviously sometimes things are going to be different colors and I try to make them still fit my like color scheme and stuff. But I discovered some sparkly laminate that I've been hoarding for some reason. I've lately been also on a big kick of using up all of my craft materials because my room in there is getting cluttered. So I've really been trying to push sales and getting use out of things that I need to use up. So one of them will be that sparkly laminate and that will make me happy. But I got a huge bag of these ones because I think they're super cute. These are the UFO ones. And I already put one on my laptop and it looks beautiful. Oh, my laptop's right here. It looks so pretty, does it not? It's right there and it just looks so cute. So these are perfect for, do you have a space gray? Is this a space gray or like a meteor black? Or I don't know, I think I'm making up colors. But if you have this color laptop, it looks super cute on there. And so I'm super happy about that. I also have these coming in in a pink color, but those probably won't be here for another few days. So I'm gonna launch these today first with the prints and with some other prints that I have as well. I got some orders of some of my little like flower prints today. I need to take photos of these. So I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna do the laminate because I did some last night and that's very cute. So let's get going and let's get some work done. Slay. Before we get started though, I'd like to give a quick word to today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. I'd like to thank Squarespace so much because they have helped me make my own website that looks like this and they make it so incredibly easy and I cannot recommend them enough. I've been using them for a long time now and it has been so hassle-free and easy for me to update my website every single time I have a new drop. Running your website can be difficult and complicated at times, but with Squarespace, they have amazing templates for you to follow. And also every website is super customizable. So you will definitely have a website that fits your vibe and aesthetic. Squarespace also has amazing commerce tools that I use to help me sell my art. And especially this time in this vlog, I will be updating my website using Squarespace again. I have a bunch of new stuff up there, including like new stickers, new prints. Please head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang to try it out for yourself and use the code Tiffany Wang for a discount off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to the vlog. This is currently what my bedside table looks like. I have a lot of cute little guys. Actually, these three guys are supposed to be on my humidifier. We have a Kirby guy and then this aquarium Bobo, which like obviously needs to be on my humidifier because he has water inside of him, which is super cute. And then we have my little raincoat pucky baby, which he's ready for the water. So he be sitting on here. I don't think the humidity has really messed with it a lot, but when I use my humidifier like a lot, I definitely take them off. So don't worry. These are my four new babies. They they're my favorite guys. I have them all dressed up in their outfits that I got from Japan. So this is like a Kiromi and it has a little outfit. This is my sweet piano that I actually got in Hawaii. I think my boyfriend got him for me. This is my baby Miffy. So cute. And my bigger Miffy is sitting on my dresser. Also kind of random, but these little Sumikos that I got from Japan are like my babies. I got these from a vintage store that sold cute things, which is crazy. Honestly, I would love to go to more of them, but I didn't even know they existed. This one is a corn one that I think was released in like 2019 or 2020. And then I also have this trash bag Sumiko, which is the cutest thing. And on his tag, he has this little fish bone, which is super cute. So these guys have just been sitting on here because I haven't really had anywhere else to put them, but I literally love them. It definitely makes me super happy having these cute little guys to see in the morning. And now let's just move on to this part for now, which is definitely what I'm most proud of from my room redecoration. So before I only had two of these tickets, but now I have three more because my family and I went to the Studio Ghibli exhibit again when we went to Japan. So this time, I think this one is the one, but it has Sasuke. If I hold it to the light, maybe you can kind of see it, but it's the scene where Sasuke is sending signals to his dad in Ponyo. And so that one just sits up here by itself because it's like very special to me. But up here we have a Kurilla Kuma. This is the space Kurilla Kuma that I had. It's like a little astronaut. And I used to have her wearing her little helmet, but over the years, the... <laughs> 
<laughs> the clear part has turned very yellow. So I was debating on actually just cutting off that film, but for now, I think I'm just going to leave her like this. I just put her helmet next to her and says so we can actually see her face. And then we have these cute little guys. And down here, I've simplified it a lot where it just has some of my favorite hair clips. And I have this little guy. I recently just gave him this little green cup because I thought he'd look really cute sitting here with some green tea. So he lives here now. But that's the first section. And the second one is where I have my big Miffy and we just have some cute little guys. And I've been getting into Sunny Angels again recently. I have some more down here and they're super, super cute. I actually got two new ones recently. These two are my newest Sunny Angels that I'm literally in love with. This one, my friend got for me in Korea. I recently have made some friends that like Sunny Angels, which is crazy because I'm not gonna lie, a lot of my interest in this cute stuff, I've had a hard time like meeting people that are also interested in it the same way that I am. So I was super excited to have recently found out that one of my friends also likes Sunny Angels and we've been obsessing over them together. And she went to Korea when I was in Japan and she found these Korean Sunny Angels. They're the Jeju Island set. And I told her, I was like, I really want the mountain one. And she pulled the mountain one. And I was like, I want your mountain one. She ended up bringing me back two. And so I opened them and I actually pulled my own mountain one. I was originally gonna trade her for hers, but this guy is so, so cute. Uh, he recently went with me to some adventures, but this is what he looks like. He doesn't really fit the color scheme of my room though. So I don't know where he's gonna go. I also have been doing something dangerous. I joined a Facebook group for Sunny Angels and they had this guy. I tried to buy it. It was my first experience on Facebook Marketplace trying to buy a Sunny Angel and it was literally crazy. I was on the phone with my boyfriend and I was like, I'm about to get scammed, I feel, because I'm so scared. Um, and he's like, no, I bought stuff off of Facebook Marketplace like several times, it's literally gonna be fine. And so I wanted to buy this guy. And as I was buying it, the seller literally sold it to someone else. Like I literally paid them. They're like, sorry, I just sold it. And I was like, why didn't you tell me that someone was gonna buy it? I would have paid you like a millisecond faster. My first experience on Facebook Marketplace was quite horrible, but that's okay because I went on eBay and I bought this guy for only like $2 more expensive, but super cute. This is a ghost one. And I've been liking this one since it came out, I think in 2018, but now I finally have my hands on it. I don't actually know really where to put it because it doesn't really, I mean, it does fit the color scheme here, but like I already have four or five sunny angels here. So that's too many sunnies. These guys are still looking for homes in my room. This one probably will not even live in my room. His colors just do not go. And I want the Mount Fuji one as well. Have not been able to find a place for him. I have so many sunny angels and I need to make an ISO list, which is an in search of list for my Facebook group, but I haven't been able to. Uh, my PO box is open. I'm like half joking. I don't want you guys to spend money on me. Like literally don't do that. But also someone sent me two sunny angels one time and it was like the best day of my life. So if you want to make me happy, current obsession is my sunnies. Speaking of which, I haven't checked my PO box in a minute. Probably should go do that. That's my sunny angel story. I love sunny angels. <laughs> this is what the setup currently looks like. I do still be having my Hello Kitty light. I recently put these little babies here and oh my God. That is quite cute. I think he will live here for now. And honestly, the only thing that fits here with my other guy is this little Starbucks cup that I have. So I've been putting this guy on here recently, but uh, vibes. Anyway, back to this tour. This is pretty much it. This is what it looks like now. Also random, but in this corner, I got these tiny little calico critters from Japan. They're like so tiny. They're meant to be calico critters for the calico critters to play with, but I got each of these sets for 200 yen, which is about like a dollar something, which is crazy cheap. Uh, so I spent probably $10 and I got all of these tiny little guys, which is so cute. Also, I've been able to put my cute little Miffy pajamas here now on my dresser because I finally cleared off the whole thing. And it just makes me feel so much cleaner. Um, I really like it. I really like seeing them and getting ready at the end of the day and like picking them up, you know? And I just feel like I need more of that. I don't know if it's that like I clutter spaces and it feels really fresh to me because I just recently cluttered it. And then by the time I like get used to it, I realize how much stuff is actually there and then I hate it. Or if my new arrays actually do get better and better, that's what I'm planning to do for my studio because I just kind of can't stand what it looks like right now. But also that studio room has to be more functional than this room. So it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, I just spent like an hour explaining and giving you guys a little tour of my room. So we should actually go and get some work done and list those little stickers. I just went and grabbed everything. So let's go ahead and do that. Woohoo!
Okay, so now we're in this room. I'm sorry if you can hear any background noise, but there's someone mowing their lawn right now. I got my stickers. They're looking cute. They look the same as the last time I showed you. I don't know why I'm showing you again. Also on my desk are three packages of orders that you guys placed the other day that I've sealed up. And the tape on here is super cute. I've been using this little washi tape on all of my envelope orders and I love it, but these are ready to go. Uh, so I don't actually know why they're still on my desk, but we are here now ready to do some work. I'm debating on whether or not I want to go outside and take these photos. Cause you guys know, I love taking my product photos outside. And I think we should, because I guess since these are sparkly, they'll probably look the best in the sun. I'm going to do the sparkly laminate on these. Let's just do, let's do like four. But I recently got my prints in the mail and I actually made a mistake. I don't know if you can tell the texture difference on camera, but just know that there is one between the front and the back. I accidentally ordered all of these matte instead of glossy on the front, which is what I normally prefer because it has this really nice silky texture from uh, the place that I order my prints from. And these are really nice and like thick paper too, but it was just a bit disappointing because this isn't really what I wanted. But then I realized that at least for the space ones, I did order other prints too. These are the cutie ones I was talking about, the pink ones. These came out a bit more dull than I wanted them to, so I'll have to adjust this file for next time. All of my prints came matte, which I didn't want, but for these prints at least, I realized there's a solution because I can use this, which I never would have thought of if they didn't come matte on accident. So happy accidents, I guess. They're similar to the laminate that I've used before on my channel. I know I used to be like a really, really big fan of laminating stuff in college, which I don't really do so much anymore because I just don't have really any projects that require laminate. These ones are perfect because they're gonna be little space guys. Okay, so I have my sheet of laminate. I'm just gonna peel off the corner here and then I'm going to place this here. And I feel like a lot of people think that you need like some fancy machine to laminate things, but it's literally Really just like a big sticker sheet like it's super easy to do so this is the process i wanted to do for my prints because they just look so pretty i'm gonna just take an exacto knife now this blade is too dull to hit my table which is why i don't currently have any cutting mat underneath it but normally i would be using that and now i'm going to just separate them with my guillotine just because i find that this gives it like much cleaner edges when you just go ahead and take off the whole edge like that. Do you see the sparkles? Is it not so cute? I am very happy with how these look. I think they look so much better with the laminate. My, my paper cutter is having a bit of a difficult time cutting through this, but we'll make it work, but they look super cute. I'm gonna do a couple of these for the photos and then I think we'll be ready to go. Look how literally pretty they came out. I am so happy with these. The sparkles look absolutely incredible. Like, and it adds to the space theme, which I think is so perfect. Hopefully these come out okay in photos and the glare isn't too bad but I think they're gonna be a big hit. I hope you guys are excited about these. But I also wanted to list some other stuff as well. So I got new shipments of my keychains the other day and it was really exciting. As you guys know, some of my keychains came messed up last time. Also, I ordered like 300 of these at the time. So that was really annoying. I'm trying to peel the packing off of this. If you guys remember, I ordered a bunch of these shaker keychains at the time. And I don't know if I complained about it on camera because I try not to be too negative on camera but when I got these, the little candy shape, first of all, OMG, this one I think is a B grade because the candy one is stuck to the edge. I have a bin recently made that's labeled B grade and I didn't really have this issue before. This is only something that I've had happen recently. I usually never have B grades. I guess it's just because I've been doing so many of these recently, but many that I've been unboxing recently have like little dents or stuff. So I have a couple B grades. I have three of these bunny phone grip B grades, but this one is now added to this container. I also have a few blobfishes. So I've had a few B grades already come up in the past. And I think it's just because I've been unpackaging so many of them. Like I leave a lot of my stuff just on my shelf and I'm not gonna go through every single thing and unbox all of them when I receive them. I'm gonna do them as I go. So I'm sure that I will discover more B grades as I go, but I've already had all of these. And then my manufacturer messed up last time. The candy for this keychain is not the right size. Uh, it's like way smaller than the other ones and that's not what I designed. So I had them redo it along with my other issues that I had, which were way more severe 
because so basically happened is these are the first batch that i ordered the biggest issue was that these were the wrong color and i actually got some of these that were the correct color that i ordered which made like almost no sense so for reference i ordered 300 of these and i got 33 of them that look like this which was my actual design and then the rest all look like this with like not enough color so i emailed them and i was like hey these are actually supposed to look like this and the same thing happened with these guys except they all came wrong and i made a whole video about this where i unboxed my order and all the colors were wrong and i didn't really know what to do and so now i recently just got my correct order so these now look like this these ones look like this and because this one also had an issue with the candy i was not going to contact them about this because i felt like it was a small problem and i wasn't going to go through the hassle of it but because i was already going to get these shipped with my failed order i decided to go ahead and contact them about it so this is the version number two with the candy in the correct size very very cute everything's bigger and then i also added these sprinkles just because i thought it would be cuter so so as you can see there's a significant difference with these but these are pretty much all of the new keychains i got so i wanted to list these as B grades and this one too probably. I'm gonna lower the price on this to probably only like $8 because uh, I'm trying to move some stock and I'd really prefer to only have these in stock. I don't need these and for these they might be like $5 and like $6 for these two because I just think the color is so not what I wanted. I know the keychain itself is perfectly fine but I am gonna list them as B grades because I don't like the color of them. These are gonna also go online today. This one's already been online but I'm going to be restocking them because you guys bought the only 33 that I had available. This one has a dent in it, so this is probably a B grade as well. Yeah, I'm gonna be listing some B grade stuff today, and so that's gonna be exciting. Normally, I would try to do everything in my power to avoid B grades, uh, because like when it comes to like things I make and stuff, I really don't like offering B grades just because I want to make sure the quality of my work is consistent and nice. What if these were earrings? Because I want to make sure that the quality and consistency of my work is nice. But with these, I don't really have a choice but to list them as B grade because they just have like a, I just have 300 of them, you know? So I have my two other prints. These are my flower prints. They came out pretty cute. We have this one, which I'm gonna list today. And then I also have this one that I'm also gonna list today. So we have these two little postcard prints that are gonna go up. These also came matte which I'm not happy about. I think they're cute, but they're just a little bit dull for my liking, but that's okay. But uh, yeah, we have these and we're gonna list them and maybe I'll pack orders later tonight. I'm not sure, but yeah. Also, I still have the box on my desk from when I unboxed that Sunny Angel, which is really funny. <laughs> okay, so now I'm downstairs. I'm about to grab my tablecloth, but I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about when I said that I kind of cleaned this place up. So these are some of my current items. We have really cute, like, Chibi Maruko-chan book here. I have some other books. These are my favorite ones right now. We have the Sanrio one. Uh, Lauren Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me, which is a really cute pink graphic novel. Momoko Sakura-chan. We have her like exhibit book that I got in Japan. And then we also have a Tamagotchi book. And then down here, just some more cute things. But I recently redid this spot and it looks really, really nice now. And of course we have my YouTube button, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna grab this down here, which is my tablecloth that we use to take photos. I have a nice umbrella to cover me from the sun, but I think you guys know the drill by now. I'm gonna lay this out and we're gonna take some photos. Oh my gosh, the sun just came out. Wonderful, beautiful, amazing. Time to list these B grades. And now we're gonna do the prints with the stickers and they look so pretty outside in the sun. Hi, Pyrin. Is that so comfortable? four orders already what the heck i was just gonna hang out with purin <laughs> i already have her did you want to hang out 
This is what my website currently looks like. I reorganized some of the stuff here, but it's still not exactly how I want it to be, but it looks pretty good for now. But yeah, I was planning uh, to go and hang out with Purin because I think Purin's getting a little bit sick again. Um, so I've been trying to spend a lot of time with her. Purin is getting older, um, so I try to spend as much time with her as I possibly can, obviously. We already kind of had plans today, didn't we? But now I have some orders. I'll probably pack those later tonight. I am still gonna hang out with her because I think she's in a, a mood to be pet and stuff. So we're gonna go and do that. And we're probably gonna watch a movie um, or maybe some Love Island. I've been watching Love Island all of a sudden because I didn't have any background noise. It's just kind of crazy, so. But thank you guys so much for the orders. It's so exciting. Hopefully we'll get a couple more tonight. And also what I've noticed is that when I do put new things up online, I know there's a lot of people that have been shopping my website for like a long time. So they just buy the new stuff, which is fine. Anyone buying anything from me supporting me i'm already amazed it does help move some old product too because sometimes it incentivizes people to buy some of the old stuff that i have and there's some stuff that i really need to get rid of because i just i just have a lot of stuff in this room i don't really want all this stuff anymore so i might do a sale or something in the upcoming days as i've started designing new product we will see it's just a thought that i have I'm not sure when i will be doing it but do you want to go Relax like we do and go do that. Also, I did make a little drink again. I made that little tasty yuzu drink in my Miffy cup and it is so cute. I literally love this cup. Definitely my most fave, but I also have a Miffy spoon, which is really, really cute. So yeah, I'm gonna go relax. Uh, my work day is not done yet. I just ate dinner, but I do like to take a break before I get into, I don't know, some more work throughout the night. I either like to pack orders or I like to edit or something, something low key uh, so I can like take my makeup off and chill and relax. And we're gonna go chill and relax, aren't we? She just started chewing up my calico critters. I have two calico critters here. They are literally so cute. These are high key my pride and joy. I got these in Japan as well. And these are like my dream calicos. And I finally saw them in person. So I decided to get these. You cannot chew these up, please. No, sweet girl. I don't say no to you about many things, but you can't be doing that. You ready for some pets? Yeah, okay. Lately, I've been focused more on having a healthy work-life balance. So if I don't feel like working after like 8 p.m., I just don't anymore. So I'm currently taking a break and I think this is how I just ended up ending my night. This is our typical nighttime routine for the two of us. And so I just pet her while watching some TikToks usually and she really enjoys it. Right now she's just getting little massages and she seems to really like it. So I'm very happy about that. But yeah, it's been nice to like be able to fully relax and just feel at peace towards the nighttime. I think it really helps with like my anxiety and I feel like I'm able to sleep better. So honestly, having like a work-life balance is so much easier said than done. So it's been something that I've been working on for sure, but the hammies definitely help me with that. And she's starting to scurry away. So she's done with her massage now. I'm ending the night with giving all the hams their veg like I always do. I try to take care of them more towards the nighttime because they're already awake. But here's Purin chewing up some veg and we got Pingu eating veg in his little home trying to hide as much as possible and of course we have banana muffin with the biggest plate of veg she's just chewing away and putting them all in her pouch but this is how i ended my night so tomorrow we're gonna be doing some packing probably and i'm gonna just get some work done so good night everybody and i will see you in the morning Hello everyone, we are back in my room. I think the lighting is a little bit better today and it is currently, that clock is wrong. I still literally never change after daylight savings. It's two o'clock, I have a meeting at three. So uh, let's get this party started. Yesterday was very fun. We were very, very productive, but today I'm going to be shipping out all of the orders that we got yesterday. I checked my email this morning and a bunch of you guys placed orders for my prints and shipping out prints is gonna be a breeze. It's just gonna be so much easier than all the other stuff I've made before. So honestly, I should make more prints and like stickers and stuff. Very exciting news that maybe I'll share with you guys in a bit. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil it yet. I just woke up or I like just got ready, I guess. So I'm still kind of processing everything that happened last night. But like after I turned the camera off, I just got in one of those moods where I think I was very anxious. So then I signed up for a bunch of shit. I'll just, I'll just tell you guys that later. But for now, I just opened the mail and look what I got. Eee! 
another sunny angel. Oh my god, guys, I am making moves on sunny angels. It's just my current hyperfixation. Like, I don't know what to say. But my boyfriend actually got me this for, I think, my birthday. And it's super, super exciting. This is their 19th anniversary one. Is it not so cute? Is it not so cute? I probably am going to take this out of the packaging. I'm not going to lie to you. It's just so, so cute. Sorry to any collectors out there. I'm not damaging any boxes or anything, so we will be able to put him back inside. Because I was going to display it like open like this, but then I realized the box looks better closed and it's so cute. So I might just pop him like that. But is he not beautiful? I love the cherry. Oh, this is a little bendy. So cute. This is their 19th anniversary one. I've also been on the hunt for their 18th anniversary one, but it's currently like $150. So I'll just be really sad about it. That's fine. But he's so cute. It's so beautiful. And I don't know where I'm going to put this yet. Honestly, I wish I could just like frame things right in front of my face so that I could stare at it all all the time but i cannot do that so i'll have to find a place for him to live thank you so much to andrew for getting me this it is literally so cute that was a very fun start to my morning but yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna hold on to this guy because i can't i can't bear to put him down yet hi friends meet your new sunny angel friend literally so cute again i said there's already too many sunnies here so i'm not gonna leave this here where can you live for now i'm just gonna put this sunny here because i don't really have anywhere else to put him but i've been meaning to redo the shell in this corner so i feel like this guy is just like perfect to sit here but i'll have to figure out the rest of the shelves another day i'm gonna spend the day packing i would like to get some orders out also oh my gosh also last night i made a sunny angel trade basically when i pulled my mountain guy from the Deju island set i also pulled the bunny when i actually wanted the orange i posted on this facebook group a little bit ago that i wanted to trade my bunny for the orange and no responses but last night when i was sleuthing on facebook i saw that this girl had my bunny as her like daiso which means it's like her like desperately in search of so she really wanted it and she had her trades up but i didn't have anything to trade i was just like hey do you want to like buy this off of me because that would be slay and she was like yeah and so i got that payment last night which is super exciting i've never made a, like a sale on facebook before for like literally anything but also this is completely unrelated to my business this is literally just me like selling people things and being like a normal person i got the payment for that last night so i need to ship out her sunny angel today and then i did like a three-way trade right because i couldn't get anyone to trade my bunny for an orange directly so i sold someone my bunny and now i'm gonna buy the orange from someone else with the money that i just got from that person buying my bunny so technically like you know what i mean it's like a little swap i'm in the process of paying this person so yeah that's been my sunny angel journey i think i'm gonna package up their, their sunny angel now so I think because I'm worried that I might forget. Also, I hate when people send out my sunny super slowly, so... <laughs> Today we got a whole page of orders. So we have this whole page and then we have a few on this page. We have one right here. So I'm gonna go and pack all of these. Okay, so I have my baby Sunny that is going to be shipped out. Goodbye, my sweet little friend. I got this guy at the same time I got my Jeju Island, but he has been claimed and I'm so happy because I did not want him. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't entirely know how to package this little man. I've seen people do plastic baggies. So I'm just gonna use what I already have. I already have like these cellophane bags. I feel like this will be fine. Um, and then I'm gonna bubble wrap. So like the bag do be a little large, so I'm just gonna tape it like this. And then that looks pretty good. So now he is all packaged up, ready to go. Um, so I think if I just bubble wrap this and then throw it in a little mailer, it'll be just fine. I just be having bubble wrap lying around already. See, it just fits so well my little cute tape around the whole thing. And I think I'm just gonna ship it out like this. Okay, so this is my first package of mini today. That's not even like a <laughs> like a order package. Uh, it's just a sunny angel order. But I'm very happy to be part of like a sunny angel community. You know what I mean? And so last night I tried to make my ISO list. So I will put that up on the screen and I already probably put it earlier in this video as well. But if you guys have any of these, let me pay you for them, please. <laughs> 
But yeah, my PO box is also open. But now I'm going to officially move my duckies out of the way and tackle some of the orders from last night. So I've got my prints ready. A lot of you guys loved my little star prints, which I'm so happy about. And these are still in my shop. These aren't like my other things that are super limited. These will be here for a while. And so will these. I know you guys love these as well. So I'm gonna pull out a bunch of materials and we're gonna start packing. I gathered out some of my prints. These are what they look like. I have these envelopes and I got a stamp recently for my address. It came out really small, so I'll have to reorder this. I'm gonna grab a bunch of thank you notes as well. I'm pretty confident that these will be just fine going in the mail like this. Do they fit in here? Just as like added protection. Oh my gosh, they do! The universe is on my side. I am the luckiest girl. Oh my gosh. So Charlotte ordered two of these and two UFO sparkle stickers and then two UFO, oh wait, one UFO alien. I'll give you two because you ordered two of everything else and two of the lovely field print. I don't even know if these will be able to be packaged very well in my packaging. I know that they're a bit large, but I wanted them to be this big and I didn't want to be constrained by my sticker packaging. So I decided to just make them a bit bigger. Yeah, as long as I line up the staple appropriately, it's okay. I'm like debating if I should use plastic sleeves in case like it rains or if I should use paper sleeves so that they're better for the environment. I'll use plastic sleeves for the ones with more items, I think, and then paper ones for the ones with less. And the way these fit perfectly is incredible. I've started designing around my envelopes, which I feel like I should have been doing a long time ago. But like now everything that I make will fit in here. And I know that for sure now. So I'm gonna start packing, but I wanted to tell you guys, I signed up for like five different artist events last night because, well, I have some external motivation because I have a sponsor lined up. It's been a while since I've done a tabling event. I haven't done it since like Thanksgiving, I think. I really wanted to get back into it. So I signed up for a couple and this morning I got two emails and I have two events lined up in July and I am so excited. I cannot even begin to imagine. It's currently June 20th and I have one coming up July 9th. That's in like two weeks and it's like officially summertime. It's gonna be 4th of July. July. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I paid so much money this morning for like all the fees and stuff So I will be having more info about that online coming up soon. Okay I have a really really big order for sage. So thank you so much sage. This is like over a hundred dollars of stuff It's actually insane. I am flying through these business cards So this is a set of a bunch of baby bunny stickers label stickers, which are all super cute And then we have the new like candy bond holographic stickers and stuff. So since she liked them so much, I'm gonna send her an extra pack of the baby bun stickers. Let's go ahead and get these sticker packs packaged up first so I can move those to the side. There we go. So we have like four different sticker packs. I'm just gonna slip in one of these guys as well. Oh, and I have to write a thank you note, of course. And I'm going to include a bunch of my little thank you stickers. Mikey, just gonna glue that on right there. That's like super cute, is it not? I love that. So yeah, I'm gonna package this up for Sage. Done with all the orders. These are all of the envelope orders. There are some more that are in packages. But I'm gonna just put some cute little tape on all of these. This tape is literally so cute and pretty. And I got it from Daiso. It has little penguins and little sea creatures and stuff. So I'm just gonna go and decorate all of these with my little kitty cat. They're not so cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. Order from Tiffany. You will get a cute little decorated envelope. I switch up my designs a lot, so definitely check that out. I split up that penguin family. You see this man? The rest of his family got left behind. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think this is the nice part about having like a business. Um, is that I can package and do everything how I would want to. Okay, there they all are. Here are the tiny ones. And today I decided to be extra special. I'm gonna put my little thank you stickers on all these envelopes. Cause is this not, is that not just the cutest envelope you've literally ever seen? They literally look so good like this. I love my thank you stickers. This has been one of the designs that I have not changed in like a long time. A lot of my stickers also because this envelope has like a weird spot. So I'm definitely gonna cover that up. I don't know if it's as apparent to you guys because I do order like three, 400 stickers every time. So they're in my shop for a while. But a lot of the times after I receive them after like a few months have already like improved since then. And I don't like the designs anymore. 
But with this one, I just think they look super cute. I did do a recoloring. That's the only thing I changed. So they used to look like this and they used to be a little peachy tone, but now they're like this fun purple pink colorway. And I think that's super cute. I should actually do more things in that colorway, but I never do. These envelopes are coming out so pretty. Every single one of them, all done. They're all just so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. And they all have tape. They just look, they just look so good. I'm happy. I'm very happy with these. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a full day worth of packing later. We have all of these envelopes. I am so grateful for you guys for loving everything. These cute little stickers on literally everything. I do need to get a new stamp for my address. I will hopefully do that soon. But yeah, now my brain is swarmed with thinking about all of the stuff that I have to do for my next two events. These are all done. I'm gonna run to the post office uh, later today. Again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I hope you guys like how these envelopes Lopes turned out firstly they're so cute and also just like how all the prints came out and stuff if you guys are interested all of it's in my shop down below and you guys can definitely check it out there again thank you so much to everyone who watched this video and to everyone who supports me and if you're in the atlanta area around july 9th and i think the 14th or the 15th i will be boothing um in atlanta so i will give you guys all of the details and the addresses in my instagram so check that out uh, i have a highlight section for all that stuff as well and i will be updating you guys on youtube as well because we're gonna start getting ready for another event and i know you guys love those videos so i'm excited to be filming another one for you guys but yeah thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out thank you all just again and again i will see you guys in the next video so stay hydrated take a nap and i will see you when i see you bye everyone <laughs>